Okay, so it's been a few, it's been like f over four months since I've played this, but I'm getting back into it because I missed it. Uh, and there was a teaser on Twitter for the new one that they're making now, and I'm like, I should probably finish the last one. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. We're gonna we're gonna get through it. Let's do this. Okay, after I get dressing out of my things, I head downstairs to my disappointment. Both Mina and Erilyn are already sitting at the table. Nice of you to join us. Oh yeah, you're a bitch. Erilyn ignores me, uh, happily chewing on a steamed bun. Yeah. It looks like Onamiko left us meat buns and sweet bean buns. Yeah, she left us all her buns. That's good. I glance at her. Do you like it? Is it to your liking, madam? She takes another bite and nods. Good. Because, frankly, I mean, I wouldn't have cared if you didn't think so, but honestly, like, I wouldn't have done anything for you, you know? Like, so, good for you that they taste good. I blink. This is the first time she's openly admitted to lightning, liking something. Mina claps her hands together in delight. It's all about that girl-on-girl -girl bond, you know? Girlfriends. So, Mina, how much convincing did it take before she'd try one? Mina stares blankly. Yeah, see, dude, it, me, it's because you're an asshole. Yeah, That's why. I just said they're good, and she tried one, and she was right. They are good. Yeah, see? See see how she's, like, all not a bitch? The whole girl thing. I narrow my eyes. So if Mina says something, something's good, you'll trust her. But if I say something's good, you'll th you think it'll be bad? Indeed. See? That's, that's the right answer. She answered that a little too cheerfully, chewing another mouthful. Mina wing woman me. Tell her the opposite of what I want. That's funny. Um, whatever works. Got it. Have Mina suggest something if I don't want any complaints. I hope you're ready to be my messenger, Mina. Oh, fuck off. Rude. This is why we can't have nice things. Mina turns back to Erilyn. Erilyn shakes her head, swallowing her bite. Know, but rest assured that will change. Once I return, I'll instruct my chef to make them every morning. What do you do day by day in your princess fantasy life? Mina's eyes widen. Well, look at the time! I better get going before late. I don't want to go down this road before Mina. Better get Mina distracted so. Better get Mina distracted so she'll stop asking questions. Luckily, Mina checks the time. Don't act like you're my friend. You're not my friend. You're not even my fucking cousin or whatever. Fuck you. You're the worst. You're the worst. You're a bitch. You're a bitch, I say. Grabbing an extra bun, I sling my bag over her shoulder. Have at the girl's house. Oh, wait, not the girl's house. The girl's out of the house. Mina and Erilyn continue to chat, and I tag a little bit behind. They've, they've really hit it off. I've noticed them spending more time together in the house, too. Maybe they're playing Barbie. That was offensive. I'm sorry. Uh, we soon reach that was obviously a joke as well together that we enter and cross the courtyard though We aren't late. We're cutting it close. Most students are already in class. <laughs> we're just so we're fashionably early Hustling we head down to the hall down the hall and into the classroom. Where we take our seats Kosei greets us fuck this guy this dude full of energy the first thing in the morning. Hey guys What's up, bro? Hey, man. I was worried you weren't gonna make it on time today. Yeah, well, so was I, dude. Before if any of us, any of us can reply, the instructor enters. We really did cut Good it morning, close. Everyone. Yo, she's hot. I remember her. Class is starting. After taking after taking attendance, Miss Sato clears her throat. Um, as I'm sure you all know, the election for grade representative on the student council is this week, and I'm happy to share that we have two students in our class running this year because of we this. We do. I'm delaying the appointment of class representative until the end of the election. Whichever candidate is elected grade representative will also be our class representative. I mean, yeah, at that point. Room is soon abuzz with whispers and murmurs. Holding both titles would be an extra honor. Well, no, I feel like they would just be like the same amount of work as normal. It raises into the air and Miss Sato calls on the student. If neither candidate is elected? Then the class representative will be chosen the traditional way, based on academic merit. <sighs> academic merit? Boring! Pfft. 
The student seems satisfied with the answer that makes sense to me too. With that out of the way, let's get started with our first candidate. Oh. Mr. Jito Osamu, whenever you're ready. Excuse me? Some rando? The uniform is stretched and neatly pressed. Uh, he even has an extra pen and pocket pen and pocket square in his pocket. His expression is serious as he nods Thank to the class. Everyone. I would take my responsibility as grade representative very seriously, and we use this opportunity to make school life better for everyone. Oh yeah? Well, what, what are you gonna do, Jiro? What are you gonna do? You, you gonna fucking start playing uh, Drake through the school uh, 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 speaker system? You gonna you gonna make uh, cherry cokes free at the vending machine? Because if not, uh, I I don't think I could vote for you, dude. I'll work to make sure we have the best materials we need for learning, such as new textbooks and chalk. But not just any talk, the good kind that doesn't leave streaks when a race. Yo! Okay, this guy's poggers. He's raises his fists in emphasis, but only gets a couple of scattered claps in response. I'll raise my fist. Go on, bro. My eyes are drooping as he continues his speech. Even if I wanted to focus, his monotone voice makes it really hard. As I glance around the room, my classmates share my thoughts. Some of them have their heads in their hands as they lean on the desk. After what feels like an eternity, he sits back down. Masato has a pained smile on her face. For that, um, informative Bro, she's so hot. How could you make her sad? Our second candidate is Miss Erilyn Dunn. It is? The class raises sleepy heads as Erilyn stands. She must have been serious about student council yesterday. Yes, that's right. I'm running for grade representative. I hope to have your support. Thank you. Whoa, she's hot! <laughs> the class sits to attention at her short speech, looking hopeful again. Jiro scoffs. That's, That's your opening remark? I said all that was necessary. You're not going to share what kind of platform you're running on? My platform? It's simple. I'm hot and you're not. That of the people, by the people, and for the people. Class erupts into whoops and cheers while Zero sits dumbfounded. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. Bro, you're a boring piece of shit. Sit down. His protests are drowned out by the applause. Thank you, everyone. You. Well, she's also hot. Erilyn flashes the crowd a flirty wink before sitting back down. Then she glances bad, at me. Right? I was born to be a leader. Yeah, whatever you say, sweet, sweet cheeks. You can command me any day. My God. Is it, this feels like sarcastic? Let's do that. Oh. Well, I, I wanted it to be sarcastic. It wasn't exactly beautiful. Miss Sato grins in amusement at the scene before Thank her. You very much, Miss Dawn. Yeah, see, now she's happy. The class was lightly before regaining Thank control you of class. For everyone's enthusiasm today. I hope you will all give your support to your fellow classmates. We'll get to hear more from each of our candidates tomorrow morning during the candidate debate. Candidate debate? <laughs> Sounds boring. There's a nice day went. Tomorrow's debate should be interesting. Oh, really? Because uh, I'm, I'm starting to think no. I refocus my attention on my shadow. She starts the class. This goes by quickly. Really? Not in my experience. Ready to go to lunch? No. You guys go ahead. I have to take care of someone first. I'm here. Oh, I thought she was gonna go fuck a guy, but I mean, then I remember that this is the guy she's fucking. Or at least, just that is going to happen? I don't know. She's my cousin, though, which means she's off limits. Thank fuck for that. I walk with Kosei to the cafeteria, and we get settled at one of the tables. As I am poking another last bit to bed, sir, can't wait to dig in, blah blah. Saying big buddy. No one gives morning, a fuck. Right? Yeah, I think the election will be exciting. You really think the fucking student council election will be exciting, bro? Me too. Erilyn's definitely going to win. Of course she is. That no, speech was perfect. Who knew you could say so little but still mean so much? The, okay. The more I... <laughs> <laughs> the more I remember this, the more I realize that they are taking this way more seriously than I am. 
But I'm supposed to be the little self-insert character here. Because, <laughs> you know, school is a fucking joke. Oh, source of the noise. Somebody fell. Three older students have gathered around a table looking over at... Uh, so they surrounded a nerdy guy. Leader of the bullies sits in a chair beside the screen. Hey, what's going on? I only got a 90 on that homework you did for me. It was supposed to be perfect. Bro, shut I, the fuck up. I had to make some mistakes. If it was a perfect score, the teachers would get suspicious. Are you saying I'm stupid? Yeah. Rio shrinks back as the older boy leans forward. No, it's just a precaution. The boy sits back up again, lets Rio and Rio lets out a shaky well, breath. That's not what you promised me. You promised me a perfect score. We had a deal and you broke it, which means you still owe me. I'm sorry. I'll redo it. The bully laughs, which prompts his friends to laugh too. Yep. It's too late for that. I'll have to take your lunch as compensation. No! Let's see what's on the menu for today. Rio reaches out for his food, but the bully swipes it first. All Rio brought was a plain rice ball. It's even smaller than Kosei's. Eats the food in one gulp, then frowns. That's, That's all I have. Well, you better come up with something fast because I'm still hungry. Yeah, you messed up and you need to fix it. He's been very fair so far. Rio gulps. I don't have any money. That's what everyone says until they suddenly have it. I really don't have any. Take another look at Rio. His uniform has been worn and washed so often that the colors have faded. Hangs loosely off his skinny frame. My guess is that it's second hand. I can see the patches where holes have been hastily sewn up. Doesn't seem like Rio's hiding any money. Bully circle in on the boy. We have to do something. Kosei's fucking epic. I love this guy. I look back on Kosei's faint. Kosei clutching his fist, gritted teeth, gritted in anger. Yeah, let's fucking back him up. Fuck yeah, I want to fight. Let's fight somebody. You're right. That kid's about to get himself beat up. He gets my feet ready to act. But Kosei's only once, already one step ahead of me. I want to fight somebody. Before, like, let's do something fucking exciting. Fuck the school uh, fucking bullshit ass. <laughs> like, fucking, uh, fuck the student council election. I want to fight somebody. Before the bullies can do further damage, Kosei storms over them before. Hey, leave him alone. The bullies are shocked for a moment, but their, sur their surprise quickly turns to amusement. Uh, is this one of your little friends, Rio? Rio shakes his head, too stunned to speak. You already got what you wanted from him, so just leave him alone. He still owes me. He doesn't, he doesn't owe you me. jack! Thank you, Kosei. Bully laughs. Why do you care? Unless you want to pay on his behalf. Bully smile in a predatory way. They now surround Kosei like sharks. Kosei grins dangerously. The atmosphere is tense. The cafeteria is going quiet. You sure you want to start something with us first year? There's three of us and only one of you. You mean two of us. I stand beside Kosei. He looks over to me with strong determination in his eyes and a half smile on his face. He nods and I nod back. Three of us. We all whirl around at Mina's voice. She marches up to the boys, getting right in their faces. Boys pause, frowning. Have little girls doing your fighting for you. What? Does that scare you? Are you afraid you'll get beat up by a girl? She smiles threateningly. <laughs> okay, okay. Mina's good now. She's redeemed herself with that. She smiles threateningly. I can almost see the fire radiating off of her as her eyes blaze into the bullies. They stare Mina down for a moment, then back off. This wouldn't be a fair fight anyway. Yeah, it's not worth it. Slowly, they step away, kicking Rio's chair one last time. I hear them grumbling about night f not fighting a girl as they pass. I let out the breath I'd been holding. Well, you're lucky we didn't end up exchanging blows. Mina turns on us. Oh my gosh, you could have gotten into deep trouble. I wanted to fight somebody. Leave me alone, bitch. Somebody needed to stand up to them. They can't get away with bullying people. Fucking bullying. <sighs> can't believe that's a real thing. Like, it's just insecure pieces of shit assholes. What if you'd actually gotten into a fight, though? I would have been better than this fucking bullshit! But we didn't fight. Yeah, only because I got here in time to stop it. I wanted to fight, goddammit! What does it matter if I get suspended? What am I gonna miss algebra class? Oh no, dude. Two of them pauses Rio approaches for your help. No problem. Are you okay? He nods. Then he hesitates. I don't know how I can repay you guys. There's no need. Yeah, as long as you're okay. Rio nods again. Go say. 
Gus, this is me. If you guys ever need homework help or something, let me know. I'm pretty good at tutoring. He offers a wry smile. Kose Thanks, grins. Man. We'll keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, Kose over here is kind of a fucking moron. See you around. Thanks again. Collects his bag and exits. Let's get back to lunch. Yeah, man, I'm hungry. Pull Kose aside as we head back to our table. Hey, that was a really good thing you did. Kose shrugs. It was the right thing to do. I mean, what if it had been me? I'd hope that someone would stand up for me too. You right. It won't be you because you're your own main character. Uh, you know, I'll always have your back. Yep. So, Mina, you'll just have to deal with the lecture afterwards. Kose laughs. Settle down at the table and return to our lunches. Man. No, I wanted to fight someone. Uh, yeah. Please. They only backed down because they were intimidated by me. I mean. That could be it, but it's more likely that they didn't want to fight a girl. Mina's a girl? Could have fooled me. Mina punches Kosei's arm. Ow! He rubs at his fresh wound, wincing. No those guys ran away. You hit like a truck. Mina scoffs. I barely even touched you. Maybe you should hit the gym. I do. Besides, if you work out so much, you'll look even more man. <laughs> She pulls back Roman to hit him again, but Kosei dodges out of the I way. I kid. Mina isn't convinced. She leaps out of her chair and lunges at Kosei, scrambles away just in time. Oh, no running in the halls, assholes. Uh, guys, what about your food? I sigh. So much for eating lunch together. Okay, go back to class. Rest of the day, take notes. Dismissal bell. Have some free time after school. I wonder if anyone wants to hang out. Okay. Right. Choice time. Here's the thing. I've thought about this in the time since I last recorded this, and my thought is I am in the Kira boat. I think I prefer Kira over Erlin. I don't super, super like Kira like I did Liana, but there is also a very big butt, and I'm not talking about an ass. I'm talking about a conjunction or whatever the fuck that is it's that Erlin dawn is very obviously somehow related to liana dawn somehow and my thought is that there is going to be some kind of like easter egg with liana that you get with Erlin. Uh, but i think you have to take the Erlin route to get that so, that's my thought. Um, so, I haven't actually decided which one I want to do, but I think going with Erilyn is probably worth whatever I'm going to find out about Liana or whatever, like, Easter egg I'm going to see with Liana. Um, probably worth that, is my thought. Um, so, I do like Kira, but I... I want to see if there's something with, with Leanna. Basically, I'm just sacrificing everything for Leanna again. <laughs> and what else is new? So let's let's talk to Erlen. Walk home together. Something. Of course. Oh. Walk in silence, becoming more familiar with our home, walks alongside me. Okay, cool. When you gonna chat? Return, I'd like to request a withdrawal from the treasury in the house. Excuse me. What? The place where you store your money. You mean a wallet? We aren't a bank. We don't. Normal people don't have treasuries. She that shrugs. Sounds much more dangerous, but all right. I'd like to request a withdrawal from your wallet. Women, am I right? <laughs> I narrow my eyes. Why? Real size of the answer should be obvious. I need money. Yeah. Why do you need money? I buy things, of course. She looks exasperated. I bite back my rising frustration. Obviously, but what do you want to buy? Oh, just a little token of appreciation so I can say thank you for hosting me. So you're gonna buy the people of the house a token of appreciation with their own money. Well, I guess this would be my response since that was my response.
but maybe because I'm kind of, I'm kind of on, I'm kind of fucking. Let's do this one. I guess her heart is in the right place, but it ruins a surprise if I have to shop for myself. I don't think if it counts as a gift if you're using my own money to buy it for me. Erlen raises an eyebrow. Said anything about getting you a gift? Oh fuck off. No, I said I wanted to thank my hosts, who would be your aunt and uncle. Oh. At least it makes more sense, yeah. What do you want to buy them? She seems brightly confident in her choice. I was quick, she must have been thinking about this for a while. It's a good idea. Oh, something about going to the flower shop. The air is warm, pleasant, light walk, yep, yep. That's why I'll see the green awning at the shop. Neatly posts of pots of bright flowers. Bells are open wide, proudly displaying a rainbow of color. Bell dings, we enter, learning the clerk of our presence. Have a look around. I'll be with you in a moment. Thanks. Sorry, that voice kind of threw me off. Uh, Erlen already inspects the flowers. She kneels down to get closer, look, touching the petals. Yo, what the fuck? After making a circle in the store, she nods, calling over the clerk. Yes, let's grab some of these sweet pea blossoms and bell flowers. Uh -huh. She points at different plants while the clerk scrambles to collect them. Add the hydrangeas. Clerk reaches for the flowers. Actually, no. Leave out the hydrangeas. The fuck? Let's add camellias instead. Continues for a bit. Sometimes Erlen seems certain about her choice, but a moment later, will we consider? I'll be patiently for her to make her a selection, but it's taking a lot longer than I thought. How can it be hard to pick out flowers? It would go a lot faster if you keep changing your mind. Women, am I? <laughs> With a sigh, check the time on my phone. Erlen pauses and I look up. Oh, are you done? She shifts her gaze my way. Oh, what the fuck? There's a bundle of flower in her arms. Are you sure? Yes. Now don't rush me. Perfection demands care. I don't have this much money in flowers. They're just flowers. It doesn't seem like that hard of a choice. Erin closes her arms. Perhaps you'd like to help. Are you being serious right now? Yes. If you know so much, then by all means, go ahead and choose some. Okay. If I had to make a bouquet, what would I do? Uh, pick out ones that look nice together? Yeah! Has to be tasteful and beautiful, as if I know what I'm doing, which I don't. Something, something, there we go. Your She's gone. Carnations are actually a rejection. Forget me nots mean remembrance of a past romance, and don't even get me started on white lilies. That's what you bring to a funeral. She shakes her head. If that's the kind of bouquet you'd put together, then I'm happy I never received one. I blink, since when did flowers hold so much meaning? And realize she was choosing her flowers based on symbolism. I even know a all this. princess must be knowledgeable in a variety of subjects. Now hush, I need to concentrate. A variety of subjects, such as... You're also the bitch that thinks fucking astrology is real. <laughs> Which means, I hate her. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I quiet down and watch Erlen select a few more flowers, something filler plants. Fighting back another size. Smash the flowers and flower out! Hey, almost forgot these. She smiles broadly. No, then she sides in the she sets off in the direction towards home, pushing back the jolts of irritation. I follow her. Erlen's mood seems to be lifted, and there's a small spring in her step. She must be excited about this bouquet. Why do I even fucking bother? As a bystander, it looks like she's inserting the blossoms at random, but the concentration on her face says otherwise. Hmm. What if he stuck a rose over here? They point in between the big camellia blossom and the droopier bellflower. It only shakes her head. It would make the flowers look too cramped. Tucks the rose in to show me. The way the camellia covers half of the rose makes the whole arrangement feel too busy. Wispy spring of green instead, making the peace feel- WHAT?! I have never been more out of the loop in my life. I don't understand. In spite of myself, I'm impressed. Really? Honestly, takes back to my other handiwork. Dawn masterpiece. No, the only one was the one before you. 
It really is. Flowers are just flowers, bro. Like, <laughs> am I ignorant for saying that? Probably. But you know what? Ignorance is bliss, motherfuckers, because then I don't have to think about flower arranging. Actually, it looks really nice. Good job, Erlen. Of course it does. God, I despise you. I'll admit that I'm impressed. You a doubted my abilities. <sighs> doubted your face. Pretty unusual skill. You would call that a skill? No. Erlen grins. Either way, I would have been able to sample such a pretty bouquet. Yeah, you. Indeed. Great. You don't have to agree so readily. Merely smile. Erlen fluffs up the blossoms when less times on Amico and enters hello, the kitchen. Hello, hello! I just popped over for a minute because I forgot my. She gasps when she sees the flowers. Oh, what a gorgeous bouquet! Erlen beams with pride. Please accept this as a thank you for your kindness and generosity. I bought it. You and your husband have been very kind to me, and I won't forget your hospitality. Oh, sweetie, this is so thoughtful of you. And you don't have to be so polite. It has been a delight having you stay with us. And light pink dust Erlen's cheeks. I've had a wonderful stay with you, too. Which is why I hope you like the flowers. Anemiko pulls Erlen into it. I love it. Thank you so much. The fucking aunt is like one of the most endearing characters in the game. <laughs> She's just a mom. They're very beautiful and would be such a lovely addition to our home. Why don't we display it on the table in the hall? Erlen nods to the Don Emiko, blah blah blah. Erlen shares uh, types of. Oh my god. That one, their conversation is over. That one, well. Bouquet turned amazing. Have you made them often? Actually, yes. Flower arranging is an important part of a princess's upbringing, and I've always found it to be one of my more interesting lessons. Probably because all your other lessons SUCK! Because it's deceptively difficult. In oh. theory, it seems like an easy practice. You just put flowers in a vase. Even a simpleton could do that. Hello! That's me! <laughs> Someone say simpleton? That's me, motherfucker. She glances at me for emphasis. Yep. Hey! To it into an art form, you have to take into account so many different elements. Textures, colors, shapes, negative space, location of the bouquet, and so on. <laughs> it's like solving a puzzle. When she describes it like that, it does sound like putting together a jigsaw puzzle. The flowers are all scattered puzzle pieces that have to be mixed. So then, then... <laughs> of course. It helps that I've always been good at it. In fact... Because if I sucked at it, I would have quit a long time ago. Because if I had sucked, I would have quit when I was... Seven. Like I did everything else I sucked at. Oh, really? In that case. Where's mine, bitch? I should receive one, too. She blinks. You? Yeah, bitch! Yeah, I'm also a host. Where's my gift? Slides into a haughty grin. Your gift is the pleasure of my company. The pleasure of... How old is she again? High school. Okay. I will not finish that sentence. <laughs> I deserved that answer. <laughs> you kinda did. Uh. You think I could get a blush out of her if I said that? No.
Okay, but a gift of friendship isn't really a gift, so you should give me something better. Carolyn frowns. You reject my friendship? That's not what I said. I just said I know it's not a gift. It seems you don't really want a gift then. That's not what I said either. I'm going to retire to my room. All of that hard work really takes it out of a girl. Oh yeah, you sure did put some flowers into a vase, you goddamn bitch. So well is worth a try. Yeah, it was. Thank you for your help today. Uh, you're welcome. Now I remember why I didn't go for Erilyn. <sighs> it's for Leanna. Just remember, silently, I clean everything up, give Erilyn a mental pass. She can probably only handle one considerate deed a day. But she, next time she's gonna have to learn. Going to the kid, going home, doing homework, and I get ready for bed. Because frankly, I could not be asked. A uh, fluffy thwack to the head. Oh no, it's Mina being a bitch hole like she usually is. Mina bounces in front of my face as I groan. Man, I don't fucking know. I remember the joys of sleep. Shut the fuck up. I have to deal with you. There are no, There is no joy in life. I feel nothing anymore. I ripped my blanket off, dashed something hallway. You know what? I'll just eat it cold. <laughs> Ugh! I think I'd rather just fucking collapse into a dead heap on the floor. Bleh! Going insane! Wee -wee -wee. <laughs> oh my fucking god! I just like that's a hair. I just need to like tie my hair back and just not fucking play this game. <laughs> Oh, this is a comfy bed, yeah, fucking school and shit. What is something gonna happen? It's a good purpose taking confidence strides and campaigning. I spot the flash of gelled hair. Hey guys! What's up, bitch? Jose, you made it today! What do you mean I made it? You're the ones who've been consistently late. Being early is lame. Don't agree with that at all. Who fucking asked you? Nobody! Nobody asked you! Fuck off! I know! That's why I said it's what the cool kids do. <laughs> Fuck you, stupid whore. Ugh. Erilyn. If you keep standing around, then we really are going to be late. Did I ask you? Get in the car, we're gonna go find out who asked. Kosei's welcome with me. He glances at Erlen. Damn, that ass. <laughs> <laughs> she seems eager to get to school today. God damn it. Yeah. I bet she's excited for the debate. So she can say what? Five more words? The candidate debate. debate for grade representative. Did you forget? No, I didn't forget, but my fucking character forgot because he's a dumbass motherfucker. Leading us straight through the doors once we're inside. Cafeteria. It's already packed with first years. Erlen splits off from us and joins Jiro. Oh, fuck that guy. Yo, a small girl with short hair. Stocky guy. And another girl looks bored out of her mind. This looks this looks good. Looks good. None of them seem to be promising candidates, which means Erlen is going to win. There we go. I see Kira doodling in a notebook. Pog champ. It gives me an odd greeting. Yes. A few moments later, all of the homeroom teachers Good arrive. Good morning, everyone. Fucking Miss Sato. I didn't mean to say it, like, imply that, but you know what? That is a sentence that I will accept responsibility for. Uh, except everyone settles down or something. Exciting start to our day. The grade representative debate. 
I hope everyone is awake and alert and ready to listen. This bitch is either like 25 and every night fucks a different guy, or she's like 42 and is like a, a soccer mom who gets excited about everything. There's no in between. Let's have all of our candidates join us on stage, please. Yeah, such yeah. We're going to do things a little differently this year. I want everyone to anonymously write down a question for our candidates to anonymously. answer. Anonymously? Anonymously? I'll use those in today's debate. Anonymously. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How long have I been up? Since like six, seven? Fuck. I should save. <laughs> oh. Fuck me. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I think all issues are important to me. Ask about lunch, don't write one. They're top priority, sure. Just them ideas, yeah. That's a good idea. Feeling pleased with myself. Uh. She's gonna pick mine because I'm the main character. When I ask a question, you'll each be given a chance to answer. We'll start with Miss Hana Sasaki. Nervous girl swallows hard. <laughs> Ready herself for the question. Miss Hana struggles a bit and pulls out a slipper. What here. is your favorite color? You probably should have read those first. You probably should have looked at the paper and been like, hmm, this college question fucking sucks! Hmm, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have let a fucking retard write this question! Ah! Fuck! Okay, who wrote this? You're about to get punished by the hot teacher. Beware, I'm gonna find you. <clears throat> and I was too nervous to put together a coherent sentence. Uh, stocky guy Ray uh, spent the entire debate making mean comments about Hannah, and the bored girl Shion declined to answer any questions. Why is she even bothered? Running is a complete mystery. This question is for Mr. Osamu. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> elected, what would be the first change you would make to this school? This is my question. I focus on listening. I don't know shit. As I have said before, I'm determined to ensure we have the highest level of education, and a major component of that is having top quality materials. Like what, bitch? This again. Truly this it makes a difference. Think of how much easier it will be to read the board without distracting streak marks, or to have chalk sturdy enough to write without breaking. I mean, he's got a point. Like the man is speaking facts. Students so slump from their seats. To make sure that there's an accessible copy of all textbooks, so people of all backgrounds can afford the same level of education. Shut the fuck yes, up. Yes, those things are all very important. Wait, I wasn't done. You were past your time, so I'll allow Miss Dawn to continue. Everything my opponent said is important, but the more important issue is to make sure that school is fun. <sighs> Productivity is proven to decrease when people are stressed or unhappy, so I'll ensure that each and every student enjoys their time here at school, starting with today. So only rainbow wrappers of candy shower the cafeteria and sweet treats. I bet when you woke up this morning, you weren't expecting free candy. She's good. What? Oh my god, how did she know? How did she know I wanted candy? She really does know what the people want. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> it's actually funny. 
<laughs> what? That, this that isn't even. How, how did? Where, where did this candy even come from? Ellen wears a bra and grin as she seemingly pulls candy out of nowhere, and uh, throws fistful of it into the. Yep, that's definitely big enough to fit fistfuls in her case. You get free candy, and you get free candy. Everybody gets free candy. This is too much effort. I cannot be fucked right now. <clears throat> Pog. Candy for breakfast? Yeah, sure. Competing as to who can catch the most candy. They're gonna fuck so hard. Main seat is Kira. Even Misato keeps a handful of candy and hides it. <laughs> She's cute. Miss Sato is the best girl. I hear chanting from a soft whisper to a loud roar among the crowds. Airy, airy, airy. <clears throat> oh, low bow. Should have been facing the other way. I'm just saying, if you want to win, you got to think of strategy. Long term, what the people want. You got a class full of high school students. Not even the girls will complain about that. Marilyn poses on stage, waving Ellie and Lee at the crowd. Eventually, with the help of a piece of candy, he's claimed. Sato clears the throat. Oh, what an unprecedented turn of events. I can confidently say that this is the most creative and energetic debate I've seen yet. Unfortunately, we'll have to end the rest of the debate early as classes will start soon. There was no debate. There was Erilyn sh fucking throwing candy out of her giant each. tits and. Even shared my three -point plan. Did I ask? Ending the debate early is no issue. I believe my actions speak louder than words. You are. Do you do have a room full of teenagers? I'm sorry, Mr. Osamu, but time is up. Everyone, return to your classrooms. Man, I just want to... I just want to go out with Miss Sato. Is there a secret route for Miss Sato? That's what we need. <clears throat> for the grown men in the audience, like me. <clears throat> They're going to eat their handfuls of candy at lunch. Oh. I actually think, uh, do I want to fucking, do I want to deal with Erilyn's bullshit? Do I really want to deal with Erilyn's bullshit? Because even if I do go through with the Erilyn route, I'll probably just go back and see Kira. But Kira probably isn't even interesting to have lunch with. Fuck it, we'll go see Erilyn. Power walking down the hall. Mine seems to be elsewhere. Sorry, but I can't talk right now. I have posters I need to make for my campaign. Like what? <clears throat> okay, good luck. Okay, well she's just gone. Let's well, just ask Kira then. Oh, she she wants to have lunch with me. Hey, Kira. Hello. Turns. Oh, she's quite pleasant. Are you heading to lunch? Would you like to eat together? Pog blinking and surprising the nuts. Pog champ. I actually say that. Puck champ. I thought it would be more interesting, but we'll just have lunch with best well actual girl. Actual girl toler tolerable woman of the two. Sits down across from me. This is Uncle Hajime. Uh but yeah, something something staring at me. What's up? Your bread looks good. You awesome? You gotta give it to her, bro. You can't just say, thanks, my uncle made it. You gotta offer it to her. She's It's for the woman. It's for the lady, bro. Come on. Oh, yeah. Sacrifice. You work there with your cousin. It's all about sacrifice. Sacrifice for the greater good. Yeah, I actually have a shift tonight. You, you should come visit and uh, we can kiss or something. I don't know. You're nuts. You should have said... 
You should come see me! You're a stupid moron. Peeing out of her bag. Is that a notebook for your homework? She shakes her head. Oh, I've noticed you writing in it a lot, so I thought you were taking notes. Yeah, but not in there. What do you use that notebook for? Drawing! Just some drawings for fun. Yeah! We love that. Really? Makes sense she would be into art, she's always doodling. Are you the fair? Are you joining the art club this year then? Here doesn't answer right away. Join the art club. Well that's just an asshole move. Okay? Like Like you gotta have a very specific kind of relationship with a girl to pull that off, okay? This is not that. We should encourage her, though. Uh, if you're interested in art, you should pursue it. She thinks about I'll consider it. it. You fucking should. You know what else you should consider? Coming to see me at my shift tonight at the fucking bakery because I'm lonely and Mina's a fucking asshole and if you come here, we can kiss or something. I don't know, it'll be fucking hot. We got time, why don't we visit the art club right now? Is that a good idea? Why the fuck not? No, we make it. In my surprise, she nods. Only if you hold my hand. <laughs> uh, go to the art club. When it looks like they might be the president, brightens when they, she sees oh, us. Hi, you're Kira, right? I remember you visiting our booth at the club fair. And a surprise flashes across Kira's face, but she keeps her composure. Yes. Me. The girl grins. So. It's nice to see you again. Have you decided to join us? I'm still considering it. Girl looks so at what me. What about you? No, I'm just here for emotional support. <laughs> That's what I do. Cause you know, she kind of, she kind of shy. She doesn't really want it. She's not really, really want to short drawings. She means she's, she's, I'm trying to help you the emotional. You know. Great. She turns back to Kira. What's your favorite method of art? The notebook doodle. Drawing. Me too. In fact, most of us here like to draw. Pauses. Oh, you know what? I think you'll appreciate this. Follow me. Pog champ. She leads us to a large cabinet when she swings it open. Fancy pens and art supplies. Sucks in a small what breath. Do you think? Are those Maru pens and the leader ink? Yes. What do you normally use? It depends. Usually pilot ink. We have that too. Kira takes a closer look. She touches one of the pens. I assume it's the pilot ink one. Then she pauses. Yep, good eye. They're pretty popular due to their fast drying time. I've never worked with them before. Girl reaches in the closet and offers Kira a pen. Would you like to give it a try? I think you'd love it. Kira accepts the pen and practices a few test sketches. Well, what do you think? It's very smooth. The fast ink dry time is very helpful. No more smudgy fingerprints all over the paper, right? Kira smiles and the art president laughs. They even, they're even having inside art jokes that I just don't totally get because I'm a fucking dipshit motherfucker. I watch she begins to relax. You just observe. Um. Continue to talk about other art styles, blah blah blah, some other bullshit. I seriously hope you'll consider joining our club. We'd love to have you. Thank you for letting me test out the pen. Anytime. The art pre club president steps away. Seems like you had fun. He looks thoughtful. Good, actually. So what do you think? Are you gonna join? She smiles slightly. I think I will. Thank you for encouraging me. God, see, she's so like she's actually a fucking human being who makes sense and is not a fucking bitch all the time. And is not like, I mean, Mina is like fine, like whatever, like. Even if, you know, she's my cousin in the game, right? But, like, even, like, just as a girl, like, from an, as an outsider's perspective, like, she seems cool enough, um, and down-to-earth enough to, like, be good friends with, but Kira actually is, like, endearing. Because you get to, like, see her open up about her interests and stuff. It's just, I mean, it's not like it's a fucking... Not like it's rocket science, you know? It's not the most complicated or fucking uh, unique shit in the world, but man, it just works. 
it's just really not that complicated. We're growing a little closer today. Okay, that's that's an important line. Once I'm in the classroom, I slide into my desk. Lunch for you by quickly, blah blah, extra chatty, something. All right, class. Please open your books to page 300. Yo! <laughs> Yo, that's totally, that's gotta be a reference. That's got to be a reference. Please tell me that's a reference. Oh. Page 394. Turn your books to page 394. It's Professor Snape. <laughs> that's good. Yes. Fucking I love Harry Potter references. Seems like you all know the material. We'll have a pop quiz instead. Ah, uh, she's angry. I can almost hear the record scratch as everyone snaps to attention. I'm glad everyone is now paying attention. You'll need that focus to complete the quiz. Mia groans and flops onto her desk. Oh, this day was going so well. Kose flashes a cocky grin. <laughs> I read the textbook ahead of time. Really gonna make us take a pop quiz, right? Oh. Oh. Right. I mean, it looks like she's serious. He flops under the desk, imitating Mia. No! Entire Erin flips back her hair entirely. It's only a little quiz. That's hardly a challenge. You're only saying that because we're in math class. Works and leans back in her seat. Luke glances over Kira's doodling in her notebook. She doesn't seem to care at all about the quiz. Good for her. The questions are on the board. You have 15 minutes. Pull out a fresh sheet of paper and get to work. By the end of the day, I managed to get out of school. The bell finally rings. I never shoot something from your seats. Grab my belongings, head out of the classroom. Should find someone to hang out with. Ugh. Oh my god. Okay. Erilyn? Fuck. Okay, something about Erilyn. Yes. Hey, Erilyn, are you busy this afternoon? Charge. Make time for something worthwhile. Yeah, elaborate. How do you feel about taking a trip to the museum? museum? Yeah, there's an art. What? If I was gonna go to the museum, why didn't I just invite Kira? Fucking bullshit. Fifteen minutes of bullshit. Now taps a finger to her lips in thought. That suggestion isn't half bad. Uh, we gotta hold hands. Okay. Next. The national treasures found in the Belden National Gallery are one of a kind, and visiting new places is always fun. I'm curious to see the renowned art of your world. Yeah, well, we're gonna fucking see some Picasso and like modern fucking bullshit or something. I don't know. Fucking Atsukaze National Gallery. Oh, yeah, modern art. Let's go. Look at that big piece in the background there. Hell yeah. Now that's art. Fuck yes. Art! <laughs> I am so fucking tired <laughs> of this bullshit. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, we'll see how long I can play this fucking game. Uh, Tendon something. Set of the first section, which are landscape paintings. Erlen gravitates towards the painting of an erupting volcano. What? Where? I'll fucking see it. Three pills of ash cloud the skies. Yo, is that Pompeii? No. Oh. Pay and pay. Copyright neutral? Depicts the disaster of an unsuspecting city of Panpei. They never did see it coming when the volcano ruined their fucking ruined their fucking city. The only thing I remember from Pompeii is that there was this one picture of this guy who fucking was jerking off and then got covered in ashes and died. <laughs> Picture 
of this guy fucking wanking his dick. <laughs> it's like a fucking. It's like. A, <laughs> he's. I don't know if it was like a. I think it was like in a textbook or something. Or, I don't know. It was like a drawing. I'm pretty sure. But it's just this guy fucking jacking off. <laughs> He got covered in ash and then just died. The caption was like, <laughs> Absolute legend cranks one out minutes before facing eternity. What a legend. <laughs> oh, so funny. <laughs> oh. Oh. I've seen her chin in her hand. Mastery and skill with the brush is commendable. Do you happen to know why it was selected to be part of the game? Bitch, how should I fucking know? Who knows? Part of the gallery because the museum wanted it to be. So you don't know then? I had to guess it's because of the subject matter. Pan pays an event in history which should be remembered. You're a non-stop. Huh, I see. Why don't we move along to the next London? Hard to tell which with Erlen, but I had hoped our art would have made her more impact on her. Yeah, well, I don't really give a fuck about art either. Erlen is remarkable as she claims. I shake away those thoughts, no time to dwell. But the next piece will surely exceed her expectations. It's the most famous painting of Matsukaze. The Great Wave off Matsukaze. What the fuck is that one? An oil painting crossing white sea foam in the upsurge. Three fishing boats in the looming doom of the tidal wave. Peace captures the strength of Japan. The beauty of nature can be terrifying and formidable. What the fuck? Why am I talking like I'm some kind of art connoisseur? Man, I don't give a fuck. This is unpredictably sometimes they dissolve in the froth and foam. Fisherman brace himself for the fickleness of nature. What the fuck? Am I like... Am I like the fucking... Uh, you know, this is like at the science museum where you push the button at the bottom like, of, a, of an exhibit, and it starts fucking rattling off exposition about fucking bullshit nothingness, and it just, it's all just words, and it doesn't even mean anything. It's all just words. It's like, if you, it, it might mean something if you care, if you give a shit, and you know what, and you know words that are, like, longer than seven letters, but what the fuck is all this bullshit? It's like nothing. It's just sweet nothings. Whisper sweet nothings to me about the devastation tidal wave when we all got fucking drowned. Hmm. This one sucks. I suppose that could be one interpretation. Well, I interpret it as uh, another man jacking off. See something else. She tilts her head to the side. Yes, I gathered a very different meaning. All right, elaborate. You really don't see it? Try looking again. I'm still trying to f see a guy jacking off. I don't fucking see it. You don't happen to see something that's a bit more reproductive? Oh, I was joking, but okay. What? How? Along the way. Stare again. I don't see Look it. At the way that it swells upwards to the tip. Are you talking about a penis? Is this a phallic symbol? Which results in the spray of white sea foam? I made a jerking off joke, and I was right? I think this is a first for me. I'm pretty sure this is the first time that I've... I... I've done that. Maybe not, but like... This is the first time I can remember it. Like, I, I literally made a jacking off joke. For literally no reason, because I was thinking about the guy from Pompeii who was fucking cranking one out about the fucking tidal wave, and I was right? It's actually a penis ejaculating. And the boats traveling up the base of the wave, which are filled with seamen. Seamen. A light bulb goes off my brain. No, she can't really mean what I think she means. She's talking about your penis, bro. So you like semen. No. Does your mind always jump directly to semen? Only when the situation calls for it. Oh yeah? Have you been in another any other situation that call for it? Yes, plenty of times. She gets railed on the daily. 
Was what did she just admit to? Really? Yes, every time I've been on a boat. Why do you sound so surprised? Ah, that's what she meant. No reason. I'll prove to you that you're wrong. <laughs> just look at kids ass dick. <laughs> Searching the room, I find the nearest staff member and usher him over to Erlen. Excuse me, can you share any artwork information? It's a penis. Mansa the Great Wave and Branson to Wagner. Uh, yes, the Great Wave off Matsukaze. A true masterpiece. It looks like a penis. Powerful and grand struggle between man and nature. I just wanted to say that sh it looks like a penis. Yes, that's all very well, but I've already heard all of this. Staff member Paul is clearly taken aback and mildly offended. If that's the case, then how may I assist? Other than all of that nature versus man struggle, when you look at this piece, doesn't it remind you of something else that is related to man? <laughs> I. <laughs> Why didn't he just fucking get his dick out? That would have been way better. That would have been way fucking better. This bullshit. I suppose it could also depict the raw and powerful desire of man. My face pales while Erlen seems pleased. Desire? His desire to penetrate nature's forces. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, brother! Hell yeah! <laughs> oh no. That can be inferred from the semen in the water. I grabbed the staff member by the arm and pulled him back. <laughs> that guy's epic. That guy's poggers. All right, you've been very helpful. Thank you. Wait, but I haven't finished. I haven't talked. I haven't finished talking about dicks. <clears throat> that sounded like he saw what I saw too. It's a penis. You're clearly talking about members' nature. Shoo him away. Let's just move on. You should have just said it was a penis. Because you said it was a penis. There's a um a yonic symbol in there, guaranteed. Well, you see how those apples sit on the end of the banana. Oh. Anal? Yeah. Oh, phallic. Yep. Shakes her head. No wonder your technology is so backwards. You're all too perverted to focus on advancement. Well, I mean, you're the perverted one, but to be fair, I'm the perverted one too. I would have seen just. <laughs> it looks like a penis. <laughs> it looks like a penis. <laughs> that one what how Do I really need to spell it out for you the lava spraying out from the volcano I oh, know you're right <clears throat> you 
Yeah. My entire life is a lie. Now you're laughing at my pain? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just couldn't hold it in anymore. Hey, you wanna see my phallic sim? <clears throat> this can only lead one place. They're just Bro, just go home and fuck, dude. Your what? Face. Are all commoners this gullible? I blink. What? You didn't see all. Of course not. No, although the staff member accidentally helping my case was a welcome surprise. No, you did see that. Just because you saw the original meeting doesn't mean you also saw didn't see the penis. Okay. Marilyn Wings. No. Because I saw the penis. I saw what I want to see, goddammit. And you know what? I saw the penises. Okay? You leave my dick out of this. You know what? I... Here's the thing. I think... Give him the benefit of the doubt, right? Because I think she would have fooled me, too. Right? She kind of did fool me a little bit. But, like, I guess not in the same way. It's, it's like... I think she would have fooled me, too. Because when she's from another world, like... It, it wouldn't be hard for her to just take her, like, seeing that so seriously. Because she's not familiar. So she doesn't know how to joke. But actually, like, her joking like that kind of makes her a little more, like... Grounded, almost. Like... It makes her make a little more sense to me as a character. <clears throat> yep, you got me. You're in You got me. I was definitely worried there for a second. He's clearly pleased with herself. Yep, that's what you gotta do. You just gotta give her the win. There's one thing I've learned dealing with women. You just gotta give her the win. She, how did you like the museum? I loved it. I saw like 8,000 dicks. It was better than I expected. It's high praise coming from you. Yes, well, there's only so much quality to be had when everyone else is a closet pervert. Hey! Just because I like looking at dicks doesn't mean nothing. Unless they're channel playful grim flesh. All right, joking aside, I was quite impressed with a few of the paintings. The Great Wave off Matsukaze being one of them. Yeah, see, her joking like that makes her a little more, makes a get, get, makes, makes her feel a little more grounded. But, like, the way she talks makes it hard for me to take her seriously. Like, even when she's not, like, when she's not joking. It actually reminds me of a painting back home. Velvet isn't an island like Japan, but the coasts we do have are beautiful. We've had many artists recreate that beauty through their works, also capturing the primal elegance of nature. See, like, she doesn't even talk like a fucking human being. <clears throat> I guess there are some themes which are universal. Like, I guess she's not supposed to talk like a human being. That's not bad writing. Like, it makes sense because she's a fucking princess. But, like, it's not bad writing on their part, on the writer's part. It's just, like, Aralyn. The differences and similarities between our worlds is interesting to contemplate. Are. That was on the writers. Um... I didn't realize Erlen was curious about that too. I'd like that very much. The voice doesn't really help her, honestly. I think there was some <clears throat> lack in communication there. Cause I, I don't know how much direction they gave Erlen's <coughs> voice actress, but a lot of the time it feels like the direction that the writing wanted to go is different from the direction the voices went, if that makes sense. Um, so I feel like there should be a little more direction in future games like this that they do. I do love Pixel Fade. They do some great stuff. <clears throat> and since she sees me. Right on time. I was worried you'd be late without me there to remind you. <sighs> I really wasted my fucking time in between the end of school and work and the beginning of work looking at dicks. Uh, 
Cupcakes are a great motivator. What am I, some kind of fucking bitch? I was promised cupcakes. Yes, I So, those cupcakes. Mutative strength They'll start trickling into me and I split off to help them. <clears throat> After signing a few faces, uh, filler planks come through. Yeah! Pog Champ, let's go! Hello. She's so cute! I forgot how cute this outfit is. Oh, hi, Kira. Mina looks just as surprised to see her as I am. I didn't expect to see you here. Came to buy that bread you had at lunch. Oh, yeah, it's really good. Let me get one for That's you. Okay. She disappears in the back, which is strange considering we have the bread stacked out front. Stocked out front? Maybe she wants to grab a fresh one for Kira. I notice Kira looking around the bakery. It feels cozy. Yeah! I would agree with that. Thanks, it's a fun place to work. I mean, better than the <coughs> fucking <coughs> fucking <coughs> the arcade? Brother, whatever that motherfucker works, Kose, or like co lame. <laughs> Feel free to browse. Everything here is good, so you can't go wrong. You look good, but I wouldn't know what else to get. I got you, girl. She sure. nods. I'm looking for some sweet or savory. Sweet. For some reason that answer surprises me. Sweet tooth? <laughs> Never really pegged Kira someone who likes sweets. Hmm. Chocolate sprinkled donut. I look around the bakery. There's cupcake all <laughs> my sweet self. <laughs> you can have my sweetness! Okay, that's the- I should have said that. It's fine. Point at the entire cake display. Yo, we'll do the cupcakes. That's- that's modest, like Kira. Actually, on Emiko and Uncle Hajime are working on a catering order and their cupcakes are really good. I can get you one of those if you Is like. Okay? Yeah, I'm sh- yeah, it's fine. They always make extras just in case something happens. And normally those go to Mina and me, so I'm happy to bring you That's one. Kind, but I don't want to trouble you. Oh, pish posh! Next time I'll try a cupcake, though. I not. Sure. Even though she turned down the offer, I see her looking at the cake display. Seems like she's taking my suggestion of cupcakes to heart. You know, returns to Kira's bread. Here you go. Thank you. Offer it on the house. That's tricky. Well, we got to see dicks. Let's see about that. Um. <clears throat> She's gonna insist to pay for it. Cause she didn't even want the cupcake. She's gonna insist to pay for it, and me being all nice and shit, um, like, I feel like it could go over well, but also there might, I don't know. I mean, I did just say. We'll see what happens. Here brings the bread to the register by shaking my head. This one's on me. She pauses to clear the surprise. No, bitch! I said no! I know, but consider a thank you for stopping by. If you like the bread, then please come back and try more. What the fuck, dude? Are you shilling right now? After a moment, she nods. Okay, thank good. You. Hand back the bread. My surprise, Kira unwraps the plastic, takes a small bite. Like it? It's good, right? Yes, it's delicious. Kira's eyes widen. She looks away as a small blush. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Yes. Why is she, I mean, Erlen is like kind of fun, but like Kira is so much more endearing. Like, I don't like, I don't look at dicks. Oh, see a cute girl. He and I both smile. You think so? Thank you for the delicious bread. Don't touch my Wait, what's 
<laughs> You're welcome. Feel free to come by anytime. Thanks. That was so cute. Fuck, dude. He looks at me and raises an eyebrow. On the house, huh? That's awfully generous of you. Hey. Listen up, bitch. I don't see you making any moves on Kosei. At least I got the balls to do something nice for my woman. What? I was trying to be nice. Huh. Is that it? You just wanted to be nice? Yeah, good luck with Kosei, motherfucker. You know who's not helping you? This guy. Fuck you. Then how come you never offered me anything on You work here, you dumb motherfucker! You mean it's because I'm not Kira? Whatever you say, cuz. I know Mina's joking. I feel like I've already committed to Kira now. Alright, fuck it. Kira's way better anyway. I got to see, I got to make the dick joke. I feel like I've exhausted my Errol in time, okay? Kira is way better. Get to know the part of me that, that hopes she'll come back and visit us more often. I got to make the dick joke. It's fine. We got to look at dicks. I, I have had enough Erlen time. My God. That was so fun. <laughs> he should have fucking got his dick out. I'm, I, I stand by this. Like, should have done it. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, one more day. Uh, take a quick shower and meet everyone downstairs. Good morning, sweetie. Thank you, Mom. I mean, Aunt. I mean, whatever you are. Uh, I mean, Sydney. Good morning, Aunt Aiko. Oh, I'm heading out in a moment. But I thought it'd be nice to send you off to school. Just like when you were little. We are still catch tail in the conversation. Mom! That's so embarrassing! We aren't kids anymore! I know! You two grew up so fast! <laughs> she pinches both of our cheeks affectionately. On Emiko! Mom, stop! Okay, okay. I won't bother you anymore. Chuckles wiping her hands on her apron. Your lunches are packed and breakfast is on the table. Since you're all set, I'm going to go back to the bakery and check on Hajime. Oh! And tell Erilyn I wish her good luck. Now, Namiko gives each a hug and disappears out of the kitchen. I know she and Uncle Hajime are busy with bakery, so it's actually nice to know they make time for us whenever they can. Me and I start eating. Erilyn joins us as we finish up our breakfast, and three of us soon head out of the house. Something, something, setting the mood, whatever. <clears throat> My coach is walking up, broad grin on his face. Hey, guys. Hey! Falls into step so, next to Today's the big day, huh? Is big day. Yeah, it's voting day. But well, wasn't fucking yesterday like it's debate day? Why weren't they putting up signs like yesterday? Who's even seen the signs? The signs have been up for like twelve hours. Are you nervous? Not at all. She gave out free candy. Why the fuck not? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's because I didn't. Maybe it's because I gave out free candy, and my rivals, my opponents in the race, are fucking some fucking loser who can't who talks too much, some bitch who doesn't know how to talk, some bitch who won't talk, and some dude who only talks bullshit. Sure. Yeah, think positively. You got it, Erlen. Anything is possible if you believe in yourself. You may be cliche, but you're not wrong. Anything is possible if you believe in yourself. Erlen smirks. As if she needed to believe in herself. <sighs> I turn this to school fucking... Or <laughs> she glances so worth it. Hi. <sighs> oh, I love you! I love you. Give me, give. You're mine now. I'm claiming you. God, she's so cute. Fuck. Ah. 
That is the most, that is the cutest motherfucking shit! You know why SQ is not her saying that? It's because, it's because Kira is the type of girl who doesn't greet someone first. But then when she does, you know you're a special motherfucker. That's me, that's you, that's me, it's this guy in the game. He's, he's fucking getting there. Let's go. Ready to vote? Schnods. Yeah, vote for it. Oh, this is... She gave me candy. I got a fucking Snickers from that, and you know what? You're not you when you're hungry. And I know that better than anybody. Okay? And you know what? When she gave me that Snickers bar, I guy became me again. Fuck. I think those two are close. Well, they're not. But Erlen is the only one who f fucking knows how to run for student council. It's not the same as running for president, you stupid moron. Stupid moron. It's Tuesday, motherfucker. Sato, oh, she's hot. She's my... I mean, Kira's fucking awesome, but... I'm just gonna fucking... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna fuck. Yeah. The uh, end of that sentence. <laughs> We're gonna be voting for... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Watch me, I'm gonna fucking win. <laughs> And write who you want to vote for on the ballot. Then just fold it I up just, and put it in the box. I love the idea that the, the, the homeroom, like all the different homeroom teachers will like congregate and like count all their votes from their each of their classes individually. Like it's just a fucking individually run like program. It's just so funny to like think that that's a that that's how they probably run the damn thing. Um fucking and like all the other like fucking male homeroom teachers like s fucking giving Miss Sato the side glance like oh fuck she hot <laughs> and good luck to both of you but mostly Erilyn who should I vote for we're voting for Erilyn I love my friends no I fuck free candy who did you vote for of course. Yeah, me too. He turns to me. You voted for Erlen too, right? Yeah, of course. You're not satisfied with the answer. I mean, why not? It's called the bandwagon effect. I mean, not like I wouldn't have voted for Erlen anyway, but like, if I'm the guy, Erlen is going to win. Like, I say that as if it's like some sort of revelation. It's not really, of course. Like, it's fucking obvious to anyone who has eyes and can read. Uh, but, or even has ears and had this fucking read to them with speech to te or text to speech. But man, if I'm that one guy who didn't vote for Erlen and Erlen wins, which she will, then I'm just look like a fucking loser. Thank you for your votes, everyone. We'll find out the results tomorrow. After me and the other forty-year-old men count through our votes individually. Looks for Lex. Now, everyone, please pay attention. We're moving on to our first group project. Yo! Hopefully, you'll have fun with it. Listen up. So Since I don't actually have to do any work, this is actually poggers. She points to a random batch of students near each other. Five will be in a group. You'll be oh, five. On okay, interesting. Democracy. You'll be reporting on. Mm, uh, um. I'm trying to think of something funny. My comedic timing was off though, because I couldn't think of anything in time. Um, <laughs> it would just be like, um, so you're reporting on democracy. Um, you guys are going to be, you guys are going to be reporting on. I, I still can't think of anything. I'm gonna think of something. Like, fucking... It's like, you five will be reporting on democracy. Um, you five will be reporting on the weekends after hours. 
um, you five will be reporting on um, the My Hero Academia School Festival. Um, you five will be reporting on Adolf Hitler. Like. <laughs> I ruined my comedic timing, but fuck. Something like that. That's why you gotta do like a fucking, um, like JonTron style video. So you can think of that joke like, as take as long as you fucking need to think of a joke like that and just edit it so that it's right after in the video. You know what I'm saying? That's why that shit works, dude. There's another guy. You five are assigned the oligarchy. Man, this is the most boring motherfucking shit. And then... He points to Mimi and a Kosein Erlen. You four will be together with... Yeah, Tacey looks at the students beside us. Igarashi. Duh. Of course. Your project will be on the monarchy. You want me to talk about the monarchy? Oh, for fuck's sake. Here goes Erlen. Here goes Erlen, dude. Why don't we just have her do the whole fucking project for us? I mean, what's she gonna do? Be student council president? I mean, like, what's she gonna do instead? Be student council president? Uh, I don't think so. Oh yeah, both my waifus. <laughs> yeah, so I can be the most degenerate man on the planet. Let's be the, let's be the normal human yeah. being. Yeah, this is awesome. We have all the smart people here. I am not one of them. She pauses and glances at Kosei. Yeah, yeah. Except for one person. Kosei waits expectantly until realization dawns. Hey. <laughs> He's awesome. I love that. I love him. Ugh. So what was our topic again? The monarchy. Yeah, Fuck! I forgot. We'll need to create a report on the system of government. Man, you want me to do a report? Am I gonna have to stand in front of the class and read this shit? Fuck that! That's some bullshit. I think I'd rather stand in front of the class and read the Communist Manifesto. How do you think that would be more interesting. And that's not even very interesting at all. I would rather read, I would rather stand in front of the class and read fucking, um, like, fucking, word for word, like, Shakespeare or some bullshit. Like, I, fuck this report. I have better things to do. I'll read the 24 page paper fucking those bitches wrote about dr dreams minecraft speedrun fuck this i'll talk about binomial distributions and all this other bullshit you think i want to talk about the monarchy <sighs> we just got the fucking project give me a few minutes god damn it Jeez, Mina, we only just got assigned thank topic. you we haven't thought that far yet i'm trying to be efficient yeah, well, you're also trying to be a bitch! And you're succeeding. Carolyn yawns. <sighs> There's no need to fret. I know everything we need to complete this project. I don't believe you. Because, frankly, I don't know how monarchies work in your world because they could be completely different. <laughs> if you go up there doing this whole project, you student council president, and you fuck it up, you know how stupid you're gonna look? You're gonna look really stupid. And we're all gonna look stupid. Because of you! Really? How come? I need to speak before she does. Sweden has a monarchy too. No, they fucking don't, but they do now! <laughs> Bitch, lasagna. It's PewDiePie. He's sweet. Kira, how about you? Do you already know anything about the topic? Kira shifts in her seat. Particularly, just what we've already learned in school. Same here. 
As if you paid attention. Don't fucking lie to me. I uh, lower my voice address, Erlen. Actually, with your background, we could, you could really be an asset for this project. Can you not be doing your student council bullshit or trying to do the project? That's why I told everyone there's no need to stress. I need to stop being horny for Miss Sato. I was about to say, you could use those hands to... Never mind. Um... Okay, everyone. One final note. I love her eyes, though! She's so pretty! So be creative! God damn it, I gotta get up in the front. Motherfucker. Clarity. clarity? As in clarity in my speech? What am I, some kind of voice actor? What am I, some kind of voiceover artiste? What am I, some kind of loser? This. <clears throat> More time to discuss as a group. Oh, for fuck's sake. As long as Kira and I get to cuddle or something. Yeah, good idea. How about this weekend? I'm down. Maybe Sunday? I can do that. See, there's like no direction. It doesn't feel natural. I can do that. That's not how you fucking say that in the conversation. It's like, I can do that. Or no. I can do that. It's I can it's I can do that. Something like that. What am I saying? Kind of voice over artiste? Oh. You think I fucking you think I fucking go up to a microphone, use my voice directly into it, and put it over something that already exists and post it on the internet? What am I, some kind of fucking loser? Yeah, that makes sense. I give Kira my address before Sato claps for our attention. I hope you've all had the chance to speak to your partners. I look forward to seeing everyone's presentations. I don't. Now, please open your textbooks. 394. <clears throat> Am I going to hang out with somebody again? Those are our club activities. Oh, am I in the fucking science club or some shit? Oh, Kohaku. Yeah, that guy. Hey! Oh, I'm glad you made it. Handsome lad. Thanks, I'm pretty excited to be here. I still can't believe this is, is real. This real. Holy shit. Is this a simulation? Are we in the Matrix? Did I am I red pilled right now? Holy shit. I didn't. Dude, am I tripping on acid right now? Take oh. this pen for instance. What color is it? He holds up a red pen. It's red. But is it truly red? Man, I don't fucking know. What am I? Some kind of Scientologist? Some kind of color man? Yes. Because that's what color it is. That's what the light reflects on the fucking prism and the shit. Ah, oh, it's just prism something. What if I'm red green colorblind? What if what if color doesn't actually exist? What if that's what if it's everything's a lie? What if the government is running a simulation we're all test subjects until we die? And this is like the fucking underworld from allocization or some shit. That's what we are. And we created our own video games. We developed society past where they th expected us to be. They, you see the society testing us? They've passed video games already. Fuck that shit. Video games? More like for fucking pussies. No, dude. We're talking about simulations of real-life people with brains and emotions and all this other bullshit. Artificial intelligence. That's what we are. We're fucking in the simulation. Ah, but you can define it as red because you're able to see the color red. What if you were colorblind and couldn't perceive the color red? I thought we were talking about whether it was real or not. That would be... Yeah, because the pen itself didn't change, it's the person who could see, who could yes, perceive it. however, our perception of reality is dictated by our senses. But do we perceive them in the same way? You can clearly see that this pen is red, as can I. But is our definition of red the same? When you look at red, is it the same exact color that I see? Whoa! That's some deep fucking shit! Exactly. 
it's impossible to experience things in exactly the same way. Some people can feel things more strongly than others, for example, pain. Other people might be missing senses altogether, such as if they're blind or deaf. That will change their perception of reality from someone else's. But both realities feel real to the individual. Does that mean reality is fluid? Or is one reality more real than another? Are you high, bruh? My brain feels like a tangled mess. Yep, that's accurate. Some very deep philosophical questions. This is why I fucking signed up for this thing. What did I sign up for? Indeed they are. Thanks, thanks, lad. Handsome boy, Kohaku. Participated in your very first club discussion. I suppose that means an official welcome is now in order. So, welcome. This guy is actually good voice actor. I like this guy. Whoever he is, he's cool. Is this how our normally go? Do I feel like a dumbass by the end of them? Is this normal? Am I gonna feel like a dumbass all the time? More or less. Come on, let's join the rest of the group and continue the conversation. It'll be interesting to hear other perspectives. Bro, you're so fucking handsome. How are you allowed to be this handsome, dude? <clears throat> yeah, my brain is tired. I thought I joined the science club, but I didn't really expect to, like, start talking about fucking red pills and shit and matrices and fucking simulations. Man, I don't remember what club I joined. <laughs> Got their things. Putting my notebook in my bag, Erlen approaches me. What does she want? Don't forget about tonight. What is tonight? to rest a little before we go to the shrine. No. Oh. Is it Thursday? Is it Thursday? Is Thursday the day we go to the shrine? Fucking I don't know, dude. <clears throat> Kira. Of course. Maybe she want to hang out. That's a yes, because the screen faded out. If it wasn't, then we would have had the same screen. The crowd starts, so I take a quick look at the sign. There's no sign of curious now in the corridor either. Once you've already left, I guess I'll catch her next time. Nope. Snow grumbles and hungrier than I realized. I may as well get a snack before I go home. I heard about a hipster cafe. See, we're going to find her there. Um, it's supposed to have really good drinks and desserts we need to try. See, why would I go to this hipster cafe if Kira wasn't going to be there? Big brain energy. It's called storytelling, motherfucker. Fuckers, visual novels. I played enough of these fucking bullshit ass shits. Yo, this is so nice. Yo, I got dibs on the fucking hangy down, boys. Uh, giving the place cute cozy ass here. Place pack students over here. A couple of guys chatting excitedly about the food and drink. I'm so excited about the cafe's promotion this week. Me too. I love Hello Kitten. Yo! I can't decide what cake to get though. The Hello Chocolate Cake looks good. Ah, but so does the Hello Matcha Cake. Cafe has a promotion? A Hello Kitty promotion? Poggers! I want one. The pink one. Whatever the pink one is, I want it. Excuse me. What's up? Hey, fellas. Fellas, listen. You said the Hello... You said Hello Kitty promotion? I want in on that right now. You don't know? This week, their entire menu is Hello Kitten themed. Pog. What, really? Yeah, it's to help promote the new Hello Kitten store that just opened up this week. First guy nuts. I think it's really great when the community supports each other like that. I'm sure we'll get more cross promotions in the future. Yeah, I can't wait. I see. Think. I see. Thanks for the info. <laughs> uh. Fucking try being more human, dog. This isn't what I signed up for. The promotion will only last a week, so maybe you should come back when it's over. As I'm debating whether I should spot a familiar face one of the tables, Kira's sitting all by herself, looking over it. Yeah, you should get the fucking Hello Kitty promotion, dude. What are you, a fucking loser? I want to talk to Kira anyway, so maybe I'll stay. I'll make my way over. Hey, Kira, may I join you? Your gaze flicks up the menu and she nods. Sure, if you'd like to. Well, yeah, I want to. I just fucking asked if I could! You can use menu. Are you a Hello Kitten fan? Yes. Pog, let's go! I blink, I was half joking, but she answered that so casually. 
Really? Your post down menu and cocks right to the side. <laughs> a little. Girl liked Hello Kitten growing up. That's true, even Mina went through a Hello Kitten phase when she was young. <laughs> I guess Hello Kitten is universally a. Is that what brings you here? She nods. You like Hello Kitten too? You're goddamn right I do! Do I answer that though? I feel like the, it's it's okay to answer like not particular. Cause like if it would feel like probably like because I mean I didn't come here for like I'm not gonna lie. Let's see, just in case. Just in case something goes horribly wrong. No, not particularly. No, not really. She's cute, but not really my style. I just want some food, goddammit. Oh. I actually came here because I heard the food would be good. I didn't know I had this promotion this week. Both turn back to the menu. They've arranged cakes and cookies, parfait, tea, all related to Hello Kitten. That is a lot of Hello Kitty. You know what you want? She nods. Hello Strawberry Cake and a Hello Latte. Hello Latte! What about you? Choose the biggest fucking dessert on the menu. I'll do whatever she gets. I'll have the strawberry cake. That sounds good. Latte? I don't drink coffee, but fuck. We'll, we'll mirror. I feel like that was in the Game Theory dating episode. It sounds like the best combo because you frankly probably don't know enough about Hello Kitty to fucking figure that out for yourself. So you're just going to be like... Yeah, I'll do that. I think I'll have the same. Kira nods my head. I think she's happy with my choice. Kira looks around as we wait. At each table is a small basket of Hello Kitten trinkets and toys, including ours. Reese inside and pulls out a headband of... <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> turns it in her hands as if I think it curiously. I bet Kira looked cute in this. I wonder if she'd wear it. Hey, Kira. She looks up. Should try those on. I chuckle to myself, expecting her to refuse. <gasps> no fucking way! This is gonna be so cute. Oh my god. She she pauses, staring at the ears. To my surprise, she accepts it with a little shrug and places it on her head. Ha! <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my god. She blinks a couple of times before facing. She's so cute. I can't stop staring. Kira's bright, blinking eyes paired with Lily. It's just so cute. Yes. You're so cute. Kira stares at me. My face burns bright red. I didn't mean to blank that out. I mean, the kitty ears are very cute on you. Really? I'm not, not trusting myself to speak. I see a faint smile on her face before it disappears. To my disappointment, she removes the headband and puts it back in the basket. Oh, what the hell, man? Waitress returns our orders and places it in front of us. Here stares at the food in front of her. Sure, steaming lattes, a cute Hello Kitten drawn in the foam. Oh, that's epic. They even included the small details of her eyes, whiskers, and bow. That's talent. Dainty cake is a square-cut vanilla cake layered with strawberries and fresh cream. Yo. Let's go. Well, yeah, you got the same fucking thing, dipshit. Even after we got to start eating to your can do something wrong? I don't want to eat it. <laughs> That's funny. Oh hi, what's wrong? Too cute. <laughs> Say what? Maybe you can drink your latte first? She shakes her head. Cute too. She looks back and forth between the latte and cake. Kira picks up her fort, gentle determination creasing her brow. She carefully cuts into the cake and takes a bite. Her eyes widen as soft smile graces her lips. She immediately goes for a second bite. It's the most enthusiasm I've seen from her. You like it? She nods too busy eating to answer. I smile, it's really nice to see Kira happy about something. It is. Agreed, man. As we eat, I hear two guys talking loudly at the table hey, beside us. did you get a copy of the new prototype yet? I heard they're sending them out to major bloggers. New prototype? You mean the Igarashi Orbulus Chasm? I think it's just a few select outlets that got a copy so far. At least for now. What is that, though? Man, that sucks. 
I know. I really want to try it out. Oh, VR system. They say it's the most realistic VR system developed so far. The games are supposed to be awesome. You can even have virtual sex, bro. Heard of the Orbulus Chasm, and all two of all in the hype around it. Oh man, the Orbulus Chasm does sound. You probably shouldn't have said that, but that's okay, bro. It's genuine enthusiasm. It's pretty interesting. Some okay. Of the I tried okay. Were quite realistic. Takes him over for my brain to register what she said. Wait, you've played it already? She my nods. Sent me one to try out. Sometimes I forget that Kira's parents are the same Igarashi. She's so down to earth and never flaunts her background. Fucking dumbass motherfucker. <laughs> I can't wait for the release so I can drop eight thousand dollars on it. Let's fucking go. I'm sorry, what? I... You know what? I didn't expect that from her. But I am not complaining. Let's go. Hey, are you serious? You know what? That would be amazing. Well, can I try it? He shrugs. At your apartment? Alone? Pog champ! No, we don't even have to just cuddle or something. I don't know. Does Saturday work for you? Sure. Cool. You can bring it to my house whenever you need. She shakes her head. Be better if you come to my house. Thank fucking God, bro. Just don't why would you say you can bring it to my house? What are you fucking stupid? Don't get all embarrassed about it. Just fucking roll with the flow. Here. You should care about it because you've played the Orbis Chasm. Okay, if that's more convenient, then I can go to you. No, the sensors are already set up in my house. Moving them would be troublesome. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I understand. Uh, a broad grin splits my face. This is awesome. Here, text me your address as a womb from my belly and heart. We are looking forward to the weekend. When we finish up, we pay for orders and gather our things. I'm going home. Bye, Kira. I love you. Same. See you in class. Yeah, see you. Bye, Kira. I love you. When are we going to start hugging and kissing and shit? I don't know. This must mean she trusts me now, though. That thought makes me happy. I like Kira's comfort. I like that Kira's comfortable opening up to me more. She never ceases to surprise me. See, she's actually super fucking cute, and Erlen's just not. Guess I'll find out soon. In my room, alternating, completing homework, and getting distracted on the internet. Why I notice dimming light outside, I check the time. We should head out soon. Erlen's door is closed, so I knock. Hey, Erlen, are you ready? It takes her a few minutes to get ready, and then we leave the house. She must be really eager to go. Aaron is unusually serious and keeps picking up the pace as we walk. This. What is there to be nervous about? You seem a lot like more nervous about this than you did about the fucking student council election. Could be another Velden around. I hope so. Not long before we arrive at the train gate. Cool. Spot Kira's dark, long dark hair in the entrance. Erlen does two and shoots me a confused look right before we approach. Hey, Kira. Kira and Erlen stare awkwardly at each other before Erlen looks at me. What's going on? Kira also shifts her gaze between me and Waze. Although her face doesn't show it, I have a feeling she's just as confused as Erlen. Forgot that we never actually told Erlen of Kira's involvement. This is awkward. Kira was actually there that night you arrived. Erlen looks back to Kira. Kira nods. She's been helping me investigate, and we work, we've been working together to try to figure out what happened that day. So you knew that I'm from Belden? No. Nope. Erlen's brown knit in confusion before Kira I, continues. I knew that you weren't from here. I saw you fall out of the sky that night. Erlen looks slightly concerned. You knew everything this whole time? How come I didn't know about this? Kira blinks. I you did. I didn't. It's my fault. I'm stupid. He never told you? Both women turned to stare at me.
What? Oh, 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 me? Oh, oh, me? Oh, I don't think so. <clears throat> yeah, let's not make any fucking excuses. I could have handled the situation better and they both know it. No pointing and denying it or making excuses. Sorry, Erlen. Should have told you. Erlen crossed yes, her arms. You should have. Uh... I should have. Why does it matter? You know now. Why does it matter whether you know before or later? Anyway, now you know. Carol to Daryl. that you had to find out this way. I would have told you myself if I'd known. Daryl hesitates to not. Appreciate the sentiment. And don't worry, Kira won't share your secret I'm with not anybody. Interested in spreading rumors? Then what exactly is your interest? I'm curious to know what's going on. As we all are. To give Skira one last long look before softening her expression. If that's the case, then I suppose thanks are in order. What for? Erlen points for to helping me. this one look for answers. If we had to rely solely on his abilities, we wouldn't have learned anything. <laughs> what? Who me? You talking? You talking about me? You talking about my abilities? My abilities are better than yours, bitch. Kira smiles faintly. Ha <laughs> ha! Make fun of the boy. Hee <laughs> hee. Welcome. Maybe now we can move on and focus what we came here to do. Kira, Erlen slides me an unimpressed. It was an old lady who spoke the phrase. Yes, Mrs. Tanaka. We should find her at once. Off we go. To see the wizard or something, I don't know, some kind of wizard fucking Oh, you kids came back. We promised we I'm would. So delighted. It's lovely to see you again. When she notices Erlen her eyes grow wide, she subtly elbows Kira. Oh my. Do you two still have that amulet I gave you? Yes. Good. <laughs> don't lose it. That friend you have is also very pretty, and you don't want to lose your man. Wouldn't she know it? Wouldn't she know it? I mean, wouldn't she know it? Is it even worth incorrecting, Miss Tanaka? I have a feeling it would do no Thanks, good. Thanks, Mrs. Tanaka. I'm not concerned. She's not? Is that because she likes me, or is it because she doesn't like me? I can't dwell on that thought for long as Aaron clears her throat. Actually, Mrs. Tanaka, this is Erlen, the friend I mentioned last time. Sovin's it's a warm nice smile. To meet you, Erlen. The pleasure is all mine. Could you repeat the phrase you told us last time? Oh, you mean Aliotel lo real dam mali. Ellen grins excitedly. Mrs. Tanaka looks surprised. Oh, that's quite lovely. What does it mean? Erlen's smile falters. What's the other half of the honorific expression? Really? You're not familiar with it? I don't believe I am, but I'd be happy to learn it. Although she tries to hide it, I can see the disappointment seeping into Erlen's Where eyes. Where did you learn the expression? Here at the temple. An elderly woman used to visit quite often, and I hear her say it. Is this the same woman who mentioned the ethereal energy? Yes, yes, exactly. Three of us are so fucking sus old lady. I'd like to arrange a meeting with her. Hmm. She comes in with her grandson, but likes to keep to grandson. Herself. It's been a very long time since I saw either of them, though. How long? Oh. Maybe about a month or so. And when did you first hear the phrase? I think two months ago. I do wish she'd visit again. It sounds like a pretty language. Actually, what language is it? That is the ancient and sophisticated dialect of- Alright, shut up, Swedish, it's Swedish. I ignore the dirty look, Aaron only shoots me. Oh, how fun. I know a phrase in Swedish. This is Sonaka Giggles. Maybe you could teach me more. Another time, perhaps. It's getting late and we should be heading back. This is Sonaka nods. Of course. You must all have school tomorrow. Well, 
Thank you for visiting, and I hope you'll come again. Thanks, Mrs. Tanaka. Say goodbye and walk towards the exit. Erlen doesn't seem too, too concerned as we walked. In fact, she acts normal. Is she really okay? Is she hiding her disappointment? Kira glances at Erlen. I wonder if she's thinking the same thing I am. Mrs. Tanaka mentioned the old woman had a grandson. Maybe there are more people. It's true. We thought there were no Veldens and then found out there were two Veldens here. Who knows how many more may be around? Erlen nods. Possible. She wears a soft smile. I think maybe that helped. She seems happier. As they're trying to begin to walk home, I'm surprised to see that Erlen's smile has only grown. She's much more relaxed than when we first arrived. How are you feeling, Erlen? Excellent. Really? I glance at Kira, who blinks in confusion. How come? Because now I know I'll be rescued. How do you know that? It's quite simple. That old woman and her grandson have obviously returned home after two months of being stranded here. How do you know they've returned? Everyone shoots me an exasperated look. If they look. frequented the shrine so often that Mrs. Tanaka memorized their sayings, then why would they suddenly disappear? Okay, when you put it that way, it does make sense. And that means I have nothing to worry about. I don't... I don't think it's gonna be that easy. Do you think She's lost me again. They must have been. And if some random Veldens can be rescued, then I can expect to be found and rescued even sooner. No. After all, as the princess, my safe return would be a top priority. I don't think that's how it works. It sounds like you're jumping to a lot of conclusions. It's more likely that they found a way back home themselves. Erlen scoffs. Nonsense. If returning were so easy, then I could have just done it. It wasn't so easy! They were frequenting the fucking shrine! I'm about to argue, but Kira puts some hammer on my arm to silence me. She shakes her head slightly. She's right, there's no point in bursting Erlen's bubble. At least this thought will make her happy. We reach Kira's intersection, we pause. Thanks for coming with us today. Yes, and thank you for all you've done for me already. Kira smiles slightly. I'm glad I could help. See you all at school tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, out of curiosity, what exactly does that honorific expression mean? Eliotin Lurialdin Mali translates to, May the dawn forever illuminate Terra. So maybe she's a future generation. That's my guess. I'm guessing that she is a future generation of dawn. Although... Yeah, we're gonna go. For, we're gonna say that. Or the, maybe she's a previous generation. I don't know, but something. I have. I. I, I want to say she's a future. But either way, it doesn't really matter. And Mali Nodira Mali Odin translates to "May Terra forever uplift the dawn." What is this nonsense? Wow, that's beautiful. Very poetic. Yes, it was written in the original mandate, and is the most well-known High Amerian expression in Velden. Sounds like you guys have a rich cultural history. Now you're ready for bed. I have mixed feelings knowing that Erlen has a finite amount of time left here. Although she's only been with us for, I've gotten used to her presence. Still, this would be for the best. Erlen deserves to return home to the, turn to the comfort of her own home. Quietly dialed down my thoughts, I lay down and drift to sleep. Okay. I am calling it quits for today, but I'm gonna come back and play maybe tomorrow. I do have some work to do tomorrow, but uh I do want to play some more. Cause I have a good feeling. Um I'm hoping we're getting a little bit closer to the end. Of course, I've only played this, I think, what, three times total so far? Um, but, uh, yeah, it's... We're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get through it. Um, <laughs> as much as I make fun of this, and I definitely don't... I'm not enjoying this as much as I was enjoying Crystalline, I think. Um, the writing is still really solid, and, you know, I just... I really like the stuff that Pixel Fade does. Um, so even this, it's just the setting. I don't like the setting as much, personally, honestly. It's a personal thing. 
this whole fantasy setting with Crystalline and the constant movement and plot progression kind of kept me interested, but this is just fucking school, and I, I've done school. I, I've been through school. I went through it, I got out, and I left that shit. Um, but yeah, it's like... It's good. I'm enjoying myself. You know, um, that's all I can really ask for. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time, whenever that is.